What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Introvert J and I'm back with another video. It's late today. It's damn near two o'clock today. But I'm up. I ain't wake up till about 12. What's going on? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Hope everybody's blessed, safe, and just relaxing today. December is approaching fast. Let me see. I got like, I got seven cigarettes left. That's about to hold me for the next three days. Feeling better today. Feeling good. Feeling good. You know, each day I'm realizing that, you know, coupled with just me being in a better mental space as long as i stay clean and and stick to my nofap journey all will be well all will be well i told you i've been having some urges lately it's getting around that week mark that week that shit will challenge your ass if you are not familiar to the nofap journey if you are new to it if you're just starting out man the first couple of days is gonna hit you but that first week you're gonna feel like the worst week of your life i'm pretty sure y'all know this but i lost a lot of weight my wife even said damn baby you getting skinny that's how i really knew i was losing weight i mean i knew i was losing weight but you know when you hear it from somebody else, you be like, it's true. You know, because you can lie to yourself and say, well, I'm losing a little bit of weight. It ain't that bad. Damn, it's just showing it's bad. I got my handy dandy coffee cup. Mama left. Dance, love, and sing. It says, dance as though no one is watching. Love beyond words and sing as though no one can hear you. Mm. What a beautiful message. But yeah, I know I'm losing weight, man. Oh, shit. I know I'm losing weight. And I gotta change that. Losing weight is just a reflection of my eating habits and me not taking care of myself properly. And I, I promise to change that for myself, man. Get this regimen going real strong and back to where it was, or even better. Really gotta get off of these shits. That's about to be another fucking journey. Because anybody who smokes cigarettes, and even if it's just for a month or a couple days or even a week, trying to stop that habit is hell. You know, you feel like everything stressed you out. You need a cigarette for this. You need a cigarette for that. That's how I got started. I said I wasn't going to smoke when I got down here. Broke that promise to myself already. But it is what it is. I plan to come into the new year fresh. I plan to come into December fresh to give me a couple a head start into the new year. You know, I've really been on that fucking. I, I've been trying to do this no fab journey. I know I'm all over the place with this video, but I've been trying to do this no fab journey for a minute. Um, let me talk to y'all a little bit about how when I started. Um, I think I started really taking it seriously like 2000 and like once i transitioned oh my god like i was like a horny fucking teenager man i was just jerking off jerking off jerking off i was like whoa because i've never done that so when i got the little bit of growth i was out here like psh, horny ass teenager man and I was like, okay, I'll give myself a pass. You know, this is my new body and, and I'm experimenting and stuff like that. But then after a while, I was like, yeah, I gotta stop this shit. And I seen, um, I think it was on Instagram or Facebook, people talk about No Nut November. So I was like, oh yeah, let me try it. Just failed that. And I would say like 2018, I really started taking it seriously. I would have like weeks and months where I was like clean, but then I relapsed. And I would be like, damn. So I started again, and I relapsed. And I started again, and I relapsed. But this year, baby, I ain't playing. 
I am not playing this year. Well, you cleared off that shit, it feel like a brand new life. You feel like a brand new start that you got. And you feel so good. It's like, you feel so confident in yourself. Like, it's like a brand new person start to emerge through the shadows. I love it. I love when I'm clean, you know? Um, and then obviously being clean off of that forces you to do like working out, gets you eating better. Like it's a whole ritual routine that really starts to emerge. And I love it. I really love it. Our days are winding down. Say Sunday. We probably, if we don't leave tomorrow, we probably leave Tuesday, the latest, absolute latest. Traffic shouldn't be that bad at all on Tuesday. Should be back to the regular work week. <clears throat> so I got to get back focused. Get these jobs lined up. Apply to Amazon. I'm about to look up. Actually, I'm about to look up once I'm done with this video. I'm about to look up when their start date is. I'm trying to get something around like the second week, the latest second week of December to start. I got to fill out the application and then I got to, um, I think you got to go into the facility for like a 20 minute session or something like that. I probably more than 20 minutes. And then like you literally start like a couple days after or even the next day. First of all, I got to even see if they're going to take my black ass because I was working Amazon. We worked to Amazon right before, um, get in this place because i had to get an offer letter of some type um to prove my income and i worked there for like what two weeks two and a half weeks and then i just quit so i hope that they take it because i think they say like after 90 days or something like that um you can reapply or something like that it's been more than 90 days so i should be okay And the drive is about 45 minutes out from where I am to the Amazon facility. And unless I get another job or I see something that's better than Amazon, I'll hop on and take it. Because I really ain't trying to do no eight-hour shift. That four-hour shift is perfect for me. Um, you know, an hour going, an hour coming back. So that's four, five, six, that's six hours. Rather than an eight-hour day plus, you know. And a lot of these jobs are local. On Indeed that I'm looking up, they're local. You know, they like 20 minutes away, 15 minutes away. They right up the road, which is great, but I'm trying to get some decent pay. Hard to get decent pay out here. Say New York City where the cap is like $15, they starting you out on. Nah, they starting you out on like 10, 11. You got to work your way up. After 90 days, they give you like a dollar raise and shit. Yeah, that's the plan for this week coming up. Pops and law birthday. So on Wednesday, we probably do something celebrating the house. I don't know. We might take them out to like pool or bowling or do something. That'd be cool. You know, get out the house, have an activity, have some fun. So what are y'all doing this Sunday? I need to find a church to go to. I've been saying that since forever. I need to find a church to go to in my area. I need to hear the word every Sunday. Or even if I go online, you know, and just follow maybe a, a church who has a session on Sundays or something. Something. I love hearing pastors preach, especially real soulful pastors. Like, I love hearing that word, man. And how they break it down to where I can relate to it, too. I love hearing that, you know. It really puts me in a place where it's like, yes, it's possible. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I do miss church, man. I used to go as a kid a lot. <clears throat> and as I got older, I just stopped going, you know. But I remember church being so such a lively place, man. The music and the people just crying out. It's just, it was a great experience. I used to hate it. I used to hate getting up Sunday mornings early to go. But you know what I really loved? I love going, um, I love communions, you know what I'm saying? Got the little cranberry juice and the crackers, like I love that. 
But I also love the celebration that we used to do for New Year's. Bringing New Year's in, that was a, that was a, a experience like no other. I used to go on uh, past the Walker. Unfortunately, he passed. May he rest in peace. But he was a um, he was a great pastor. And then they replaced him with some other guy, and that's really when I stopped stop going. I think. But yeah, church was definitely a whole vibe, man. And I kind of missed that. Kind of missed that vibe, you know? Hearing the word every Sunday. and You just left church feeling great. You know what I'm saying? Like, seeing all those people there celebrating. And just having a good old time. And seeing the choir sing. And hearing them sing. And hearing the instruments. And yo, them motherfuckers could play, boy. They could play their ass off. That was a really great song. And after church, we used to go to this spot, get some fried whiting, some grits, eggs. We also go used to go to this place across the street. It was a waffle house. Well, chicken and waffle house. I mean, they used to make some good food. Good old food, man. Some chicken and waffles. You can get candy, yams, collard greens, black eyed peas. Oh. It was such a vibe, man. Such an experience. It's a great time to be alive back then. <clears throat> so, I gotta find me a little church home around the way. I think that'd be good for me. You know? nice today it's about 60 degrees real nice i got this t-shirt on versus that hoodie i'm always wearing because i'll be cold as fuck i'll be cold as a bitch man mm -hmm. cold as a bitch Do y'all ever feel like y'all just want to morph into this different person? Like, sometimes, some days, I be so fucking sick of myself. I be so fucking sick of hearing myself talk sometimes. I be just like, ugh. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could just morph into something. Just instantly. Just transform, you know? And that's a, that's a tell, tall tale sign that I need to work on myself and, and redevelop myself. I feel like I'm just going through the motions of the day. And especially being down here, just all this land and space, I should definitely be doing more. Maybe I had a, an excuse back in the city, like, oh, I can't do this, or I can't do that. I wasn't even going to the damn gym. I was even working out in the park. Uh, you know, it was, it was cool, man. I remember getting up early, like 3 in the morning, eating my oatmeal, my breakfast, journaling, reading. And I get dressed and I go out to the park and I do my running. I run for at least, I'm going to say, what was that stretch? Maybe like less than five, maybe five, ten miles. I run there as far as I could. And then I walk back. I was really doing it. And then, of course, I fell off just like anything else I do. I always fall off or lose consistency. And then I start back up again, and I lose it again. And I start, like, I'm tired of that. Like, that shit is so whack. You know? I was getting to a place where my body was looking real nice. And then it all went away. And then I started up again, and it all went away again. I'm so sick of that shit. Because the place I could be right now, my body be looking amazing. Mm, mm. Mm, coffee's good. This is um I don't know if I mentioned this is Colombian coffee. Like Colombian coffee from Colombia. Like this shit is a real deal. I got some creamer in it from French vanilla creamer from Coffee Mate. It's it's the bomb. I like my coffee light and sweet, but less sweet. I used to like it real sweet. Like, I used to get 
like five, six sugars. No, I'm lying. I used to get eight sugars in that bitch. Especially when I used to get iced coffee, I used to get eight sugars. That shit would be so sweet. And exactly what I'm doing now, I would have a cigarette and just sip on my iced coffee. Mm. My wife got me a coffee pot. Don't make it no better. I've been drinking coffee, damn, sometimes twice a day. But it's a little coffee maker just for me. I don't drink too much, but I do drink like at least a cup, cup every day. My wife ain't a, a coffee drinker. She's a tea drinker. So that coffee pot literally just for me. And out of the pops and laws here. He gonna help me out and drink some. I drink Dunkin' Donuts. He drink uh, Folgers. So I got him a thing of Folgers at the house. He can drink all he want on that. I don't like Folgers. I tried. Mm -mm. No thank you. Something about it. It just don't taste right. I got to put a lot of cream in that bitch because, I don't know, I think it's strong. Like, it's too strong. I feel like Dunkin' Donuts is a more mellower coffee. And I, I don't like coffee that's too, too strong. I haven't really tried any other coffee. Like, I don't like Starbucks coffee. I hate Starbucks coffee. I haven't tried Maxwell. Um, but this Colombian coffee, man. It tastes so fresh, so good, so good. <clears throat> it's a beautiful time to be alive, I swear. It really is, man. It really is, you know. Yeah. Let me get my mask. I'll be back, y'all.